Mishnah, Proverbs, chapter 17. Better is a dry piece of bread and rest with it than a house filled with the offerings of strife. A wise servant rules over a son who causes shame and shares an inheritance among the brothers. A refining pot is for silver and a furnace for gold, but Yahuwah tries the hearts. An evildoer gives heed to wicked lips. A liar gives ear to a tongue of desire. He who mocks the poor reproaches his maker. He who rejoices at calamity does not go unpunished. Children's children are the crown of old men, and the adornment of children is their fathers. Excellent speech is not fitting for a fool, much less lying lips for a noble. A bribe is a stone of favor in the eyes of its owner. Wherever he turns, he prospers. He who covers a transgression seeks love, but he who repeats a matter separates intimate friends. Reproof enters deep into a wise man than a hundred blows on a fool. An evil one seeks only rebellion, so a cruel messenger is sent against him. Let a bereaved bear meet a bear rather than a fool in his folly. Whoever rewards evil for good, evil does not leave his house. The beginning of strife is like releasing water. Therefore stop fighting before it breaks out. He who declares the wrong right and he who condemns the righteous, both of them are an abomination to Yahuwah. Why is this a price in the hand of a fool to buy wisdom when there is no heart? A friend loves at all times and a brother is born for adversity. A man lacking heart shakes hands in a pledge. He becomes a guarantor for his friend. He who loves transgression loves strife. He who exalts his door seeks destruction. He who has a crooked heart finds no good. And he who has a perverse tongue falls into evil. He who brings forth a fool has sorrow for it. And the father of a fool has no joy. A rejoicing heart causes good healing, but a stricken spirit dries the bones. One who is wrong accepts a bribe behind the back to pervert the paths of right ruling. Wisdom is before the face of the understanding one. But the eyes of a fool are on the ends of the earth. A foolish son is a grief to his father and bitterness to her who bore him. It is also not good to punish the righteous one, to smite noble ones for straightness. He who has knowledge spares his words, and a man of understanding is cool of spirit. Even a fool keeping silence is regarded as wise, as understanding, when he closes his lips. Mishla, Proverbs chapter 18 the separatist seeks his own desire. He breaks out against all sound wisdom. A fool does not delight in understanding, but in uncovering his own heart. When a wrong one comes, scorn comes too, and with shame comes reproach. The words of a man's mouth are deep waters. The fountain of wisdom is a flowing stream. It is not good to show partiality to the wrong or to turn aside the righteous and right ruling. A fool's lips enter into strife and his mouth calls for blows. A fool's mouth is his ruin and his lips are the snare of his life. The words of a slanderer are like delicacies and they go down into the inner parts of the heart. Also he who is slack in his work is a brother of a master destroyer. The name of Yahuwah is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. The rich man's wealth is his strong city, and like a high wall in his own imagination. Before destruction the heart of a man is haughty, and before esteem is humility. He who answers a matter before he hears it, it is folly and shame to him. The spirit of a man sustains him in sickness, but who does bear a broken spirit? The heart of the understanding one gets knowledge, and the ear of the wise seeks knowledge. A man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men. The first to state his own case 
seems right until another comes and examines him. The lot settles disputes and separates between the mighty. A brother transgressed against is a strong city, and contentions are like the bars of a citadel. A man's stomach is satisfied from the fruit of his mouth. He is satisfied with the increase of his lips. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those loving it eat its fruit. He who has found a wife has found good and receives favor from Yahuwah. The poor speaks beseechingly, but the rich answers fiercely. A man of many friends might come to ruin, but there is a loving one who sticks closer than a brother. Mishla Proverbs chapter 19 Better is the poor walking in his integrity than one of perverse lips who is a fool. Also, desire without knowledge is not good. And he who hurries with his feet sins. The foolishness of a man perverts his way, and his heart is wrought against Yahuwah. Wealth adds many friends, but the poor is separated from his friend. A false witness does not go unpunished, and he who breathes out lies does not escape. Many entreat the favor of the noble, and all are friends to him who gives gifts. All the brothers of the poor shall hate him. How much more shall his friends go far from him? He pursues promises. They are gone. He who gets heart loves his own life. He who guards understanding finds good. A false witness does not go unpunished. And he who breathes out lies perishes. Luxury is not fitting for a fool, much less for a servant to rule over princes. A man's discretion makes him patient. And his adorning is to pass over a transgression. The sovereign's wrath is like the roaring of a lion, but his delight is like dew on the grass. A foolish son is a calamity to his father, and the contentions of a wife are a continual dripping. Houses and riches are the inheritance from fathers, but an understanding wife is from Yahuwah. Laziness makes one fall into a deep sleep, and an idle being suffers hunger. He who guards the command guards his life. He who despises his weight dies. He who shows favor to the poor lends to Yahuwah. And he repays his deed. Discipline your son because there is expectation. And do not set your being on his destruction. One of great wrath bears punishment. For if you rescue him, you only have to do it again. Listen to counsel and accept discipline, so that you are wise in your latter end. Many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the counsel of Yahuwah that stands. What is desirable in a man is his kindness, and a poor man is better than a liar. The fear of Yahuwah leads to life, and he remains satisfied. He is not visited by evil. A lazy one buries his hand in a dish and does not bring it back to his mouth. Beat a scoffer and the simple is made wise and reprove one who has understanding and he discerns knowledge. He who plunders a father chases away his mother. Is a son causing shame and bringing reproach. Cease my son to hear discipline and you shall stray from the words of knowledge. A witness of Belial scorns right ruling, and the mouth of the wrong ones devours wickedness. Judgments are in store for scoffers, and beatings for the back of fools. Mishnah Proverbs chapter 20 Wine is a scoffer, strong drink a broiler, and whoever is led astray by it, is not wise. The dread of a sovereign is like the roaring of a lion. Whoever provokes him sins against his own life. For a man to cease from strife is esteem, but every fool bursts out. The lazy one does not plow after the autumn. At harvest time he inquires, there is none. Counsel in the heart of man is like deep water, but a man of understanding draws it up. Most men proclaim each his own kindness, 
but who finds a trustworthy man. The righteous man walks in his integrity. His children are blessed after him. A sovereign who sits on the throne of judgment is scattering all evil with his eyes. Who says, I have cleansed my heart, I am purged of my sin? Differing weights and differing measures, both of them are an abomination to Yahuwah. Even a child is known by his deeds, whether his work is clear and right, the hearing ear and the seeing eye. Yahuwah has made both of them. Do not love sleep, lest you become poor. Open your eyes. Be satisfied with bread. Evil, evil, cries the buyer. For when he has gone his way, then he boasts. There is gold and a multitude of rubies, but the lips of knowledge are a precious vessel. Take the garment of one who is guarantor for a stranger, and hold it as a pledge when it is for foreigners. Bread gained by deceit might be sweet to a man, but afterward his mouth is filled with gravel. By counsel plans are established, and by wise guidance wages a battle. He who goes about as a slanderer reveals secrets. Therefore do not associate with him who speaks smoothly with his lips. Whoever curses his father or his mother, his lamp is put out in deep darkness. An inheritance obtained with greed at the beginning is not blessed at the end. Do not say, I repay evil. Wait for Yahuwah and he saves you. Different weights are an abomination to Yahuwah, and a false scale is not good. The steps of a man are from Yahuwah. What does a man know about his own way? It is a snare for a man to say rashly, it is set apart, and only later to reconsider his vows. A wise sovereign winnows out the wrong and turns the wheel over them. The spirit of a man is the lamp of Yahuwah, searching all his inmost parts. Kindness and truth watch over the sovereign, and he shall support his throne by kindness. The comeliness of young men is their strength, and the splendor of old men is their gray hair. The blows that wound cleanse away evil and strokes the inner parts of the heart. Mishnah Proverbs chapter 21 The servant's heart is as channels of water in the hand of Yahuwah. He turns it wherever he wishes. All a man's ways are right in his own eyes. But Yahuwah weighs the hearts to do righteousness and right ruling is more acceptable to Yahuwah than a slaughtering. A haughty look, a proud heart, the lamp of the wrong are sin. The plans of the hard worker lead only to plenty but all rash haste only to poverty. Gaining treasures by a lying tongue is a fleeting vapor heading for death. The spoil of the wrong catches them because they refuse to do right ruling. The way of a guilty man is perverse, but as for the innocent, his work is right. It is better to dwell in a corner of a roof than in a house shared with a contentious woman. The desire of the wrong is set up on evil, his neighbor finds no favor in his eyes. When the scoffer is punished, the simple is made wise. But when the wise is instructed, he receives knowledge. The righteous one observes the house of the wrong. He overthrows the wrong for their evil. Whoever shuts his ears to the cry of the poor, let him also cry and not be heard. A gift in secret subdues displeasure, and a bribe in the bosom strong wrath. To do right ruling is joy to the righteous, but ruin to the workers of wickedness. A man who strays from the way of understanding rests in the assembly of the dead. He who loves pleasure is a poor man. He who loves wine and oil does not become rich. The wrong is a ransom for the righteous and the treacherous for the straight. It is better to dwell in the wilderness than with a contentious and vexed woman. Desirable treasure and oil are in the dwelling of the wise, but a foolish man swallows it up.
He who pursues righteousness and kindness finds life, righteousness, and esteem. A wise one scales the city of the mighty and brings down the trusted stronghold. Whoever guards his mouth and tongue guards his life from distresses. Proud, haughty, scoffer is his name. He acts with arrogant pride. The desire of the lazy man slays him, for his hands refused to work. He covets greedily all day long, but the righteous gives and does not withhold. The slaughtering of the wrong is an abomination. How much more when he brings it with wickedness. A false witness perishes, but the man who obeys speaks forever. A wrong man hardens his face, but as for the straight, he establishes his way. There is no wisdom or understanding or counsel against Yahuwah. The horse is prepared for the day of battle, but the deliverance is of Yahuwah. Mishnah, Proverbs chapter 22. A good name is preferable to great riches. Favor is better than silver and gold. The rich and the poor meet together. Yahuwah is the maker of them all. A clever one foresees evil and hides himself. But the simple go on and are punished. The reward of humility is the fear of Yahuwah. Riches and esteem and life. Thorns, snares are in the way of the perverse. He who guards his life keeps far away from them. Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old he turns not away from it. The rich rules over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. He who sows unrighteousness reaps trouble, and the rod of his wrath perishes. He who has a good eye is blessed, for he gives of his bread to the poor. Cast out the scoff, and strife goes out, and contention and shame cease. He who loves cleanness of heart, whose speech is pleasant, a sovereign is his friend. The eyes of Yahuwah shall watch over knowledge. But he overthrows the words of the treacherous. The lazy one says, There is a lion outside. I am going to be killed in the streets. The mouth of a strange woman is a deep pit. The one denounced by Yahuwah falls in there. Folly is bound up in the heart of a child. The rod of discipline drives it far from him. One oppresses the poor to increase his wealth. Another gives to the rich, only to come to poverty. Incline your ear and hear the words of the wise, and apply your heart to my knowledge. For they are pleasant, if you guard them within you. Let all of them be ready on your lips, that your trust might be in Yahuwah. I called you to know today, even you. Have I not previously written to you of counsels and knowledge to cause you to know the certainty of the words of truth, to return words of truth to those who send to you? Do not rob the poor because he is poor, and oppress not the afflicted at the gate. For you who have pleased their cause and shall plunder those who plunder them. Make no friendship with one given to wrath, and do not go with a man of rage, lest you learn his ways and find yourself ensnared. Do not be one of those who shakes hands in a pledge, one of those who are guarantors for debts, if you do not have the means to pay. Why should he take away your bed from under you? Do not move the ancient boundary which your fathers have set. Do you see a man who is skilled in his work? He does stand before sovereigns. He does not stand before obscure ones. Mishla Proverbs 23 When you sit down to eat with a ruler, look well what is before you, and put a knife to your throat if you are a man given to appetite. Do not desire his delicacies, for that food is deceptive. Do not labor to be rich. Cease from your own understanding. Do you set your eyes on that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away like an eagle to the heavens. Do not eat the bread of one having an evil eye, nor desire his delicacies. For as he reckons in his life, so is he. Eat and drink, he says to you, but his heart is not with you. You vomit the peace you have eaten, and lose your sweet words. 
Do not speak in the ears of a fool, for he treads on the wisdom of your words. Do not move the ancient boundary, and do not enter the fields of the fatherless, for their Redeemer is strong. He shall plead their cause against you. Bring your heart to discipline and your ears to words of knowledge. Do not withhold discipline from a child. If you beat him with a rod, he does not die. Beat him with a rod and deliver his being from the grave, my son. If your heart shall be wise, my heart rejoices, even I, and my kidneys exalt. When your lips speak what is straight, do not let your heart envy sinners, but be in the fear of Yahuwah all day long. For certain there is a hereafter, and let your expectancy not be cut off. Hear, my son, and be wise, and guide your heart in the way. Be not among heavy drinkers of wine, or with gluttonous eaters of meat. For the drunkard and the glutton become poor, and slumber puts rags on a man. Listen to your father who brought you forth, and do not despise your mother when she is old. Buy the truth, and do not sell it, wisdom and discipline and understanding. The father of the righteous greatly rejoices, and he who brings forth a wise one delights in him. Let your father and your mother rejoice, and let her who bore you exalt. My son, give me your heart, and let your eyes watch my ways. For a whore is a deep pit, and a strange woman is a narrow well. She too lies in wait as for a prey, and increases the treacherous among men. Who has woe? Who has sorrow? Who has contentions? Who has complaints? Who feels hurt without cause? Who has redness of eyes? Those stand long at the wine. Those going in to search out mixed wine. Do not look on the wine when it is red, when it gives its color in the cup as it flows smoothly. In the end it bites like a snake and stings like a, an adder. Your eye looked on strange women and your heart speaks perversities and you shall be as one lying down in the midst of the sea and as one lying at the top of the mast saying they smote me I was not sick they beat me I did not know when shall I wake up let me seek it again Mishla Proverbs 24 do not envy evil men, nor desire to be with them, for their heart plots through ravage, and their lips talk of trouble. By wisdom a house is built, and by understanding it is established, and by knowledge the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. Mighty is the wise in strength, and a man of knowledge strengthens power, for by wise guidance you wage your own battle. And delivery is by a great counselor. Wisdom is high for a fool. He does not open his mouth in the gate. He who plots to do evil is called a master of evil plots. The purpose of folly is sin, and the scoffer is an abomination to men. If you fault in a day of distress, your strength is small. Deliver those taken to death, and hold back those stumbling to the slaughter. If you say, See, we did not know this, would not he who weighs the hearts discern it? He who watches over your life, would he not know it? And shall he not repay man according to his work? My son, eat honey, for it is good, and the honeycomb sweet to your taste. Know that wisdom is thus to your being. If you have found it, there is a future, and your expectancy is not cut off. Do not lie in wait, O wrong one, against the dwelling of the righteous. Do not ravage his resting place. For seven times a righteous man falls and rises, but the wrong one stumbles into evil. Do not exalt when your enemy falls, and let not your heart rejoice when he stumbles. Lest you who will see, and it be evil in his eyes, and he turn away his wrath from him. Do not fret because of evildoers, and do not envy the wrong, for there is no future for the evildoer. The lamp of the wrongdoers is put out, 
My son, fear Yahuwah and the sovereign. Do not mingle with those who change, for their calamity arises suddenly. And who knows the ruin of both of them? These who are for the wise, it is not good to show partiality and right ruling. He who says to the wrong, you are righteous. Peoples curse him, nations despise him. But those who rebuke the wrong, it is pleasant and a good blessing comes on them. He who gives a right answer kisses the lips. Prepare your outside work and make it fit for yourself in the field. Then you shall build your house. Do not witness against your neighbor without cause, and do not deceive with your lips. Do not say, let me do to him as he did to me. I repay each according to his work. I pass by the field of the lazy and by the vineyard of the man lacking heart. And see, it was all overgrown with thorns. Its surface was covered with nettles. And its stone wall was broken down. When I saw it, I set my heart on it. I looked and received discipline. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and your poverty shall come, a prowler, and your need like an armed man. Mishla Proverbs 25 These two are Proverbs of Shalomah, which the men of Hiskoyah, servant of Yehuda, copied. It is the esteem of Elohim to hide a matter, and the esteem of sovereigns to search out a matter, the heavens for height and the earth for depth, but the heart of sovereigns is unsearchable. Take away the dross from silver, and a vessel comes forth for the refiner. Take away the wrong from before the sovereign, and his throne is established in righteousness. Do not exalt yourself before a sovereign, and do not stand in the place of great men, for it is better for him to say to you, Come up here, than that you should be put lower before a noble whom your eyes have seen. Do not go forth to strive in haste, for what would you do in the end when your neighbor has put you to shame? Plead your case with your neighbor himself and do not disclose the secret of another, lest he who hears it put you to shame. And your evil report turn not back. A word spoken at the right time is like apples of gold in settings of silver. A ring of gold and an ornament of fine gold is a wise one's reproof to an ear that hears. Like the cold of snow in time of harvest is a trustworthy messenger to those who send it. For he refreshes the life of his masters. He who boasts of his gifts falsely is like clouds and wind without rain. Through patience a ruler is persuaded and a soft tongue shatters a bone. Have you found honey? Eat only as much as you need, lest you be satisfied with it and vomit. Make your foot rare in your neighbor's house, lest he gets enough of you and hate you. A man bearing false witness against his neighbor is like a club and a sword and a sharp arrow. Trust in a treacherous man in time of distress is like a broken tooth or a foot out of joint. One who takes away a garment in cold weather is like vinegar on soda and a singer of songs on an evil heart. If your enemy is hungry, give him bread to eat. And if he is thirsty, give him water to drink. For you are heaping coals of fire on his head. And you who rewards you, the north wind brings rain and a secret tongue and enraged face. It is better to dwell in a corner of a roof than in a house shared with a contentious woman. Like cold water to a parched throat is good news from a distant land. A righteous man who gives way before the wrong is like a muddied spring in a ruined fountain. It is not good to eat much honey. Is it esteemed to seek one's own esteem? A man who has no control over his spirit is like a broken down city without a wall.
translation of Proverbs 26, Like snow in summer and rain in harvest, so esteem is not fitting for a fool. As a bird wanders, as a swallow flies about, so a curse without cause does not come. A whip for a horse, a bridle for a donkey, and a rod for the fool's back. Do not answer a fool according to his folly, lest you also become like him. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he become wise in his own eyes. He who sends a message by the hand of a fool cuts off feet, drinks damage. The legs of the lame hang limp. So is a proverb in the mouth of fools. Like one binding a stone and a sling, so is he who gives esteem to a fool. A thorn goes into the hand of a drunkard. So is a proverb in the mouth of fools. An archer who wounds anyone is he who hires a fool or any passerby. As a dog returns to his own vomit, so a fool repeats his folly. Have you seen a man wise in his own eyes? There is more expectancy for a fool than for him. The lazy one says, There is a lion in the way. A fierce lion is in the streets. As the door turns on his hinges, so does the lazy one turn on his bed. The lazy one buries his hand in a dish. It tires him to bring it back to his mouth. The lazy one is wise in his own eyes than seven rendering advice. A passerby meddling in a strife not his own is like one who takes a dog by the ears, like a madman who throws sparks, arrows, and death. So is a man who deceived his neighbor and says, I was only joking. For lack of wood, the fire goes out, and without a slander of strife ceases. As charcoal is to burning coals and wood to fire, so is a contentious man to kindle strife. The words of a slanderer are as dainty morsels which go down into the inner parts of the heart. Burning lips with an evil heart are like earthenware covered with silver draws. He who hates pretends with his lips and lays up deceit within him. Though he speaks kindly, do not believe him, for there are seven abominations in his heart. Hatred is covered by deceit. His evil is disclosed in the assembly. Whoever digs a pit falls into it, and whoever rolls a stone, it turns back on him. A lion tongue hates its bruised ones, and a flattering mouth works ruin. Mishla, Proverbs chapter 27. Do not boast of tomorrow, for you do not know what a day brings forth. Let another man praise you, and not your own mouth. A stranger, not your own lips. A stone is heavy, and sand is weighty. But a fool's wrath is heavier than both. Wrath is cruel, and displeasure overwhelming. But who is able to stand before jealousy? Open reproof is better than hidden love. The wounds of a friend are true, but the kisses of an enemy are profuse one satisfied loaf the honeycomb but to a hungry one any bit of food is sweet like a bird that wanders from its nest so is a man who wanders from his place ornament and perfume gladden the heart so one's counsel is sweet to his friend do not forsake your own friend or your father's friend and do not go into your brother's house in the day of your calamity better is a neighbor nearby than a brother far away my son be wise and gladden my heart that i might have a word for him who reproaches me a clever man foresees calamity hides himself the simple shall go on they are punished take the garment of him who is guarantor for a stranger and for a strange woman pledge it he who greets his friend loudly early in the morning shall have it reckoned to him as a curse. Drops that never cease on a very rainy day, and a contentious woman are alike. Whoever represses her represses the wind, and his right hand encounters oil. Iron is sharpened by iron, and a man sharpens the face of his friend. He who tends the fig tree eats this fruit. And he who guards his master is esteemed. As in water face reflects face, so a man's heart reflects a man. 
The grave and destruction are not satisfied, so the eyes of man are not satisfied. A refining pot is for silver and a furnace for gold, so a man is tried by his praise. Even if you pound a fool in a mortar with a pestle, along with crushed grain, his folly shall not leave him. Know well the state of your flock. Set your heart to your herds, for riches are not forever, nor a diadem to all generations. Grass vanishes, and new grass appears, and the vegetation of the mountains are gathered in. The lambs are for your garments, and the goats for the price of a field, and goats milk enough for your food, for the food of your household, and sustenance for your girls. Mishnah Proverbs 28 The wrong shall flee, though no one pursues, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. Because of transgression of a land, many are its rulers, but by a man of understanding and knowledge, right is maintained. A poor man who oppresses the poor is like a sweeping rain that leaves no food. Those who forsake the Torah praise the wrong. Those who guard the Torah strive with them. Even men do not understand right ruling, but those who seek Yahuwah understand all. Better is the poor who walks in his integrity than one perverse in his ways who is rich. He who watches over the Torah is a discerning son, but a companion of gluttons shames his father. He who increases his possessions by interest and profit gathers it for him who shows favor to the poor. He who turns away his ear from hearing the Torah, even his prayer, is an abomination. He who causes the straight to go astray in an evil way, falls into his own pit. But the perfect inherit the good. A rich man is wise in his own eyes, but the poor who has understanding searches him out. When the righteous exalt, there is great comeliness. But when the wrong arise, a man is searched for. He who hides his transgressions does not prosper. But he who confesses and forsakes them finds compassion. Blessed is the man who always fears Elohim. But he who hardens his heart falls into evil. A roaring lion and a charging bear is a wrongdoing ruler over poor people. A leader who lacks understanding is a great oppressor. But the hate of greed prolongs his days. A man oppressed by blood guilt flees into a pit. Let no one help him. He who walks blamelessly is saved, but the perverted of ways falls at once. He who tills his land is satisfied with bread, but he who pursues vanities is filled with poverty. A man of truth has many blessings, but one in a hurry to be rich does not go unpunished. To show partiality is not good, because for a piece of bread a man will transgress. A man with an evil eye runs after wealth and does not know that poverty awaits him. He who reproves a man finds more favor afterward than he who flatters with the tongue. He who robs his father or his mother and says, It is no transgression. He is a companion to a destroyer. He who is greedy stirs up strife, but he who trusts in Yahuwah prospers. He who trusts in his own heart is a fool, but he who walks in wisely is delivered. He who gives to the poor does not lack, but he who hides his eyes does have many curses. When the wrong rises up, men hide themselves. But when they perish, the righteous increase. Mishra Proverbs chapter 29 One often reproved hardening his neck is suddenly broken and there is no healing. When the righteous increase the people rejoice but when the wrong one rules the people sigh. He who loves wisdom gladdens his father but the companion of whores destroys wealth. A sovereign establishes a land by right ruling but one who receives bribes throws it down. A man who flatters his neighbor spreads a net for his own feet. An evil man is ensnared by transgression. But the righteous sings and rejoices. The righteous knows the plea of the poor. 
The wrong does not understand such knowledge. Scoffers ensnare a city, but the wise turn away wrath. When a wise man disputes with a foolish man, whether he rages or laughs, there is no peace. Bloodthirsty men hate the perfect and seek the life of the straight. A fool lets out all his breath, but the wise calms it down. If a ruler listens to lying words, all his servants become wrong. The poor man and the oppressor have this in common. Yahuwah gives light to the eyes of both. The sovereign who rightly rules the poor with truth. His throne is established forever. A rod and reproof give wisdom. But a child unrestrained brings shame to his mother. When the wrong becomes many, transgression increases. But the righteous look on their fall. Discipline your son and he brings you rest and delight to your life. Where there is no vision, the people are let loose. But blessed is he who guards the Torah. A servant is not disciplined by words. Though he understands, he does not respond. Have you seen a man hasten his words? There is more expectancy for a fool than for him. He who deals tenderly with his servant from youth has him as a son in the end. A man of displeasure stirs up strife, and a master of rage has many a transgression. The proud of man brings him low, but the humble in spirit obtains esteem. He who shares with a thief hates his own life. He hears an oath, but does not report. The fear of man brings a snare, but whoever trusts in Yahuwah is set on high. Many seek the face of a ruler, but right ruling for man comes from Yahuwah. An unrighteous man is an abomination to the righteous, and he who is straight in the way is an abomination to the wrong. Mishra, Proverbs chapter 30. The words of Egu, son of Yahu, a message. This man declared to Ithiel, to Ithiel and Yukel, for I am more stupid than anyone, and do not have the understanding of a man. And I have not learned wisdom that I should know the knowledge of the set-apart one, who has gone up to the heavens and come down, who has gathered the wind and his fist, who has bound the waters in a garment, who established all the ends of the earth, what is his name? And what is his son's name? If you know it. Every word of Eloah is tried. He is a shield to those taking refuge in him. Do not add to his words, lest he reprove you, and you be found a liar. Two matters I have asked of you. Deny them not to me before I die. Remove falsehood and a lying word far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me my portion of bread, lest I become satisfied and deny you and say, Who is Yahuwah? And lest I be poor and steal and seize the name of my Elohim. Do not slander a servant to his master, lest he curse you, and you be found guilty. There is a generation that curses its father and does not bless its mother. There is a generation clean in its own eyes, but not washed from its own filth. There is a generation, oh, how haughty are their eyes, and their eyelids are lifted up. There is a generation whose teeth are swords, and whose jaw teeth are knives, to devour the poor from off the earth, and the needy from among men. The leech has two daughters, give, give, three are not satisfied, for they never say enough. The grave and the barren womb, soil not satisfied with water, and fire which never says enough. And I that mocks his father and scorns to obey his mother, ravens of the wadi dig it out, and young eagles eat it. Three matters are too marvelous for me, and four which I do not understand. The way of an eagle and the heavens, the way of a snake on a rock. The way of a ship in the heart of the sea. And the way of a man with a girl. This is the way of an adulterous woman. 
She shall eat and wipe her mouth and say, I have not done wickedness. Under three matters the earth trembles, and under four it is unable to bear. Under a servant when he reigns, and a fool when he is satisfied with food. On a hated woman who marries, and a female servant who supplants her mistress. There are four matters which are little on the earth, but they are exceedingly wise. The ants are a people not strong, yet they prepare their food in the summer. The rock badgers are a weak folk, yet they make their homes in the crags. The locusts have no sovereign, yet they all go out in formation. A spider takes hold with two hands and it is in sovereign's palaces. There are three matters that are going well, and four are good and walking. A lion, which is mighty among beasts, and does not turn away from facing all. A greyhound and a male goat, and a sovereign whose army is with him. If you have been foolish in lifting up yourself, or if you have plotted evil, put your hand on your mouth, for as milk under pressure brings forth courage, and as a nose under pressure brings forth blood, so wrath under pressure brings forth strife. Mishra, Proverbs chapter 31. The words of Sovereign Lemuel, a message which his mother taught him. What, my son, and what, son of my womb, and what, son of my vows? Do not give your strength to women, nor your ways to wiping away sovereigns. Not for sovereigns, O Lemuel, not for sovereigns to drink wine, nor for princes to desire strong drink, lest they drink and forget the law, and pervert the right of all the afflicted. Give strong drink to him who is perishing, and wine to those embittered in being. Let him drink and forget his poverty, and remember his trouble no more. Open your mouth for the dumb, and the cause of all the sons of the departed. Open your mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Who does find a capable wife? For she is worth far more than rubies. The heart of her husband shall trust her, and he has no lack of gain. She shall do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She shall seek wool and flax, and with delight she works with her hands. She shall be as the ships of Tarshish. She brings in her food from afar. She also rises while it is still night and provides food for her household and a portion for her girls. She shall consider field and buy it. From her profits she shall plant a vineyard. She shall gird herself with strength and strengthen her arms. She shall taste when her gain is good. Her lamp does not go out by night. She shall stretch out her hand to the distaff, and her hand shall hold the spindle. She shall extend her hand to the poor, and she shall reach out her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of snow for her household, for all her household is dressed in scarlet. She shall make tapestry for herself. She is dressed in fine linen and purple. Her husband is known in the gates. When he sits among the elders of the land, she shall make fine linen and sell them, and shall give girdles for the merchants. Strength and splendor are her garments, and she rejoices in time to come. She shall open her mouth with wisdom, and on her tongue is the Torah of kindness. She watches over the ways of her household, and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children shall rise up and call her blessed, her husband too, and he praises her. Many daughters have done nobly, but you have risen over them all. Loveliness is deceptive, and prettiness is vain. A woman who fears Yahuwah is to be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her works praise her in the gates.